So I want to tell you about this story and this lesson that I learned from this old Japanese man. And he was probably one of the wisest men that I ever met and also probably one of the richest men uh, that I've ever met. And it was back about three, maybe two years ago, I had a friend of mine that was getting me involved in this direct sales company and he invited me out to Los Angeles to come to their uh, company convention and I go out there and I was really blown away with everything but I got a chance the next day to have a meeting with the owner of this company which was a 76 year old uh, Japanese man and so anyways I, I get up and I show up to the office and I have to wait for like an hour to speak with him but my friend uh, he kept telling me no you got to meet this guy you got to meet this guy only even five minutes could totally change your life and what you think and da 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 and so I'm like okay fine so I go in and I am waiting there for an hour and I go into this room and it's all quiet and I go in there and meet and it's me and two of my friends um, that are introducing me to this Japanese man. His name's Mr. O. And <laughs> I go inside and it's just us three and then there's Mr. O, his wife, and there's a translator because he's Japanese, right? He doesn't speak English. And I go in there and there these old little people that are maybe like four foot ten or something, really small little people. And I walk into the room and he bows to me. And in Japan, they, they bow, he bows and he goes, nice to meet you. And I said, it's nice to meet you too. And, um, and I said, I, I love your company and what you're doing because I had this water technology that's just amazing what it does. And so anyways, uh, pretty much next thing, I hear the translator translates over to me, he says, Mr. O, Mr. o has a certain feeling about you. He has something for you. So this little old Japanese man, he walks to the other side of the room and he goes into this duffel bag and he pulls out like this little black diary and he brings it over to me and he, he motions, he goes, you write me promise and then you sign it. And this is after maybe like two minutes of meeting the guy and he's making me sign his journal. And so anyways, I go into his journal and I write, you know, that I promise to share his message and his product to uh, throughout the world. And um, he takes it and the translator translates over to what I had written to him. And all the book, there's just, it's in Hebrew, it's in Japanese, it's in Chinese, it's in all these different languages, none of them really English. And um, as he hears what I'd written into his book, uh, he gets all excited and I could see like the smile come onto his face. And then next thing I know, he um, looks at me and he goes, he goes, first you must give and then you take. And I thought, first you must give and then you take. And after that, right after I noticed he reaches into his back pocket and he's wearing this nice real I guess maybe Japanese made suit and he reaches into his suit pocket and he pulls out and he has literally a wad of $100 bills and he hands it over to me and I could see that because they're folded in half and I could see it was $100 bills and he gives it to me with both hands and he goes, first you must give and then you take. And that lesson, uh, right after that, I remember going to the bathroom and just being so touched by this man's generosity and how there's actually good people in business and that this guy actually gives before he takes. And so it's something that I've always thought about um, as I've continued to do business and do life is like figure out how could I first give because once I give, I know that it's always going to come back.